How are you guys doing? And thanks for watching. It's George over here at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety, strobe lighting equipment for cars, buses, trucks like this very pretty 2019 Ford F-250 Super Duty, regular cab, long bed, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, all kinds of stuff. What you're looking at here is our Wicked Warnings Auto Flasher module. We have one set up on the mirrors, on the amber mirrors. We have another set up on the five-piece roof. We have them synchronized to alternate back and forth on a nice triple fast, triple flash fast pattern. Camera has a little bit of a hard time catching how fast it is. In the grill of this truck, we have four TIR3s in amber alternating in an X pattern. This was a build to spec uh, job, so I did exactly what the owner was asking for. He liked those uh, four amber corner lights, so that's what we did. We also did some stuff around the back. We have our Thin X in amber in the badges, as well as our Thin X in amber on the rear tailgate. Some hideaways in the rear as well. Here you can see a little side shot. Now the TIR3 is mounted fairly easy in the grill. We were able to route the wiring around behind the grill and then leave enough slack on a two-wire connector so they could remove the grill if they need to for headlight changes or service. Here you can see a little bit better that Thin X set to amber only on the side badges there. This was a all amber package request. We're also featuring another TIR3 right on the tail of this truck in a very popular spot under the side edge of the tail light. There's a black plastic filler piece. Very easy to mount a TIR3 or a LIN 6 or even our new LIN 8 if you did want a dual color. Right now we have a T3 mounted there. Let me pull the truck forward, show you what we did around the back. I do have a video that explains exactly how to take that badge off the front fender and how to install our Thin X light in that badge, as well as instructional videos you'll receive for the amber and the amber mirrors and the roof lights. When you purchase the Auto Flasher kits, you'll get videos on all of those. Alrighty, here's what we're looking at facing straight backwards. We did utilize the black plastic filler panel underneath the tailgate. Normally holds three DOT red lights for a dual wheel truck, but since this truck does not have dual wheels, we were able to mount our Thin X on that black plastic and we kept those amber as well. We have an amber LED HAW Duo set in HD in both of the cargo as well as the reverse. And as I mentioned, that TIR3 facing sideways on the rear tails. Here you get a little better shot, including that badge in the front and that side. TIR3 underneath the tail light. I don't know if you noticed, but this was a plow truck. So we isolated the four grill lights in the front and we put those on switch number six so they can work without the key. We put the remaining lights on the system on switch number five. Reason being is those grill lights, which you can kind of see bouncing back in the mirror over my toolbox there, those grill lights would be a little bit distracting when the blade is on the front of the truck. So I wanted to give him the uh, option to turn off the grill light if he wanted while he was plowing, but keep the rest of the system. So this is a fairly simple construction plowing system, all amber, uses a variety of our lights, pretty easy to install everything here, uh, as you see, and I uh, can run it all off the factory aux switches. If you'd like to re replicate this exact system, make sure you take a look at the little eye that'll pop up right here in the corner of the video that'll have links that'll come down the video here that'll show all of our products or you can always take a look right below the video down here there's a read more or a show more text and that'll open up the video text underneath it the description and there you'll find links to our website to each one of these products individually as well as a cart link to all of these products put together in a cart. Now, this is not a step-by-step, -step, every aspect covered kit. This is a parts kit that you will need to assemble yourself. So if you'd like to get all the lighting needed to replicate this job in your own shop, check the description. And I thank you again for watching Wicked Warnings. Don't forget, we're your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment. Smash that like button, subscribe. Do me a favor, share it with some of your friends. Drop a comment to let me know I'm not all by myself on the other side of the cam camera here. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Let me know what you'd want to see, and I'll try to make it happen. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings.